So to start, uh, over here on the right we have position control. You can do simple things like home the printer. For those printers that support it, you can do auto level. And of course, you know, you have other things like temperature control, bed control. Every command is shown here in the command console. Give it just a second to finish auto level. So you can also do things like set the temperature. You can enter commands. You can do things like jogging. back. Shift enter will send those commands. Uh, and as well we've got two STL slicers over here, Slicer and Cura. So we'll upload an STL file. As you can see, you can look at the object, make sure it's what you want to print. It gives you the dimensions of the object here. You can do it from the top, the front, or the side. And for each slicer, you have the options for slicing. So this is Cura. You can select slicer if you prefer that. I use Cura because it's a lot faster. So I'll go ahead and do Cura. Select one of the presets that I have here. You can create and save presets. And uh, basically then click process STL to view code, and it will start the conversion process. That will get the file ready to print. So now that that's done, I can click send to printer. What it's going to do, of course, is send the view code line by line. And the first thing it's going to do is drop it down to 190. It was at 200 earlier, so it's going to take just a second to get down there. All right, should start in a second. here and keep track of the progress of the print. And you can do things like, which is actually really nice, you can pause the print, restart it from the point you paused it on, and uh, if you want to completely stop the print, you could pause the print, clear the queue, which would erase everything out of the queue, bring us back to zero percent, and then bring the printer back home and re-slice it or start over or do whatever you need to do there. Uh, you can extrude and basically it's everything you need to control your printer as well as slash STL to G code all within a web interface. It makes things quite easy.